Let's talk about all the weird or unique things in this world. All right, let's start with you. That's it. Hey, that's right. <laughs> let's all let's the... analyze Silas Merritt Robertson. No, let's... No, I'm commonly known as Uncle Si. Uncle Si, baby. That's right. Unique or weird? Both. All Both. the weird, <laughs> unique things in the universe. There it is. Wow. All right. I reckon what chicken think we taste like. <laughs> Well, we got the right people to. Discuss. Well, all right, there you go. Tastes uh, like chicken. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, the chicken say everything tastes like humans. That's right. That's right. Everything tastes like corn. Yeah, that too. So, but, uh, or chicken. Or do they say, "Hey, you didn't hit it on that"? Mm. Wasn't there, boys? Mm-mm. Here we go. Welcome back. Here we are. What a bizarre start. Si so wants to talk about the weird. That's right. Are you neat? Well, so I have something to talk about. Si. Okay. Well, hit us with it. Well, so everybody's been sending an email. Darren was the first part. Darren from Saluda, South Carolina, sent an email. So I'll say that ten right times real fast. Darren from Saluda. Okay, no. Um, he comes from good country, South Carolina. What? <laughs> Anyway, and then like somebody at church walked up to me last night and was like, have you seen this on Facebook? And people are tagging me in it. So there's a thing on Facebook because a guy made a TikTok saying his niece called an aquarium a water zoo. A water and it's all bird. the wild things kids say, which what? and you fit in. Right. Well, I've always He's always said he was a kid, boys. Right. Right. I'm a kid trapped in a 74-year-old body, boys. But the, the comments sucks. on it are hysterical. Right. So si, what would you call a quesadilla if you were a child? A quesadilla? Uh-huh. Well, first of all, you got to explain, what is a quesadilla? It's a tortilla with cheese Jeez. and or chicken or beef that's flattened like on a cooktop. Yeah, like better when it's got a ham top. in it. Oh, here we go again with what's a sandwich. No, well, I mean, it could well, be a hey. sandwich. Hey, that's what. Hey, there well, we go again with the sandwich. Anything you put between two tortillas or hey, two if them slices tortillas of bread or corn, can I eat it? That's between you and your doctor, buddy. I don't know. <laughs> well, this kid calls it Spanish grilled cheese, which may mean Spanish grilled cheese. Spanish. Well, Spanish grilled it's grilled not cheese. far off. Si, what I would you call a cupcake? A cupcake. What would I call a cupcake? A cup. A dessert. I've never uh, ate it out of a cup. This kid called it party muffins. That one's probably my hey, party muffin. I like it. That's the good. That kid's sharp. <laughs> kid's sharp. Because every time he's at a party, he seems to have cupcakes. It is, boys. And then the other good one was a little girl didn't know the word for thirsty yet, so she called it water hungry. <laughs> water hungry. <laughs> hey, I can respect that. I'm water hungry all the time. I like that. So. And then one eight-year-old calls Waffle House the hibachi breakfast. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I got Martin Molly. With That's me. true. That's it. That is hibachi true. Breakfast. Yeah. You ever seen them back there in the back? The only difference between hibachi uses a little bit of Earl. Waffle House uses a lot of Earl. Like, I don't even. What kind of oil do they use? They don't want, they Something don't made want, by Penzoil. They don't want nothing to stick. Oh, Penzoil, boy. Speaking of all the weird things in the world, Waffle House is one of them. That's a weird Why place. Why is everybody always on Waffle House? Because it's great. They all stop there, but hey, they always talk you, about that's it. That's what I told Martin. When we went to Scotland, remember I told you? If we mm-hmm. could get a Waffle House over here, we would change the country. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just heard Domino's having trouble. Why? Well, they was going to open a bunch of more Domino pizzas in Italy, and hey, they threw them out of the country. Is this true? I no, I just heard that on the news sitting here while I was waiting for somebody to open the door. So. <laughs> I didn't think nobody came to work. Domino's today. Pete. Why? Because yeah. it ain't a regulation Pete. I, I I have no idea. That's just what the man on the radio said. Said Domino's. Oh. No, they literally they quit. Yeah. They quit. They didn't throw them out. Just well, nobody. The way ate he that. said it, they threw them out. Domino's well. opened up in Italy. Yeah. And they just finally had to I threw them out. lock the doors because they, they weren't making out. no money. Nobody would go to it. Well, in fairness, yeah. I, if you're Domino's, why do you go to the birthplace of pizza? Because you're not that good. Whoa. I mean. <laughs> whoa. You're, whoa. It's oh, not. Whoa. But, hey, let no, me, whoa. ain't no, let me, no whoa. Let me tell I you what. With, I agree with Bart. Let me tell you what Domino's has got. Convenience. 
Whoa. Because you hit that button on the app, and you ain't got to talk to nobody. Whoa. And it'll show yeah. up to your hotel door G in 30 G minutes. G-Haw. Praise you're the Lord. With, I know. You're with but, a bunch of mules. Whoa and g -haw. Domino's is good. You get that thin crust pizza or the Brooklyn-style pizza from Do And I'm a pizza connoisseur, sir. I like Domino's. He ain't never been to Chicago or Italy. That's right. The yeah, old. Right. I have been to Italy. The old you like. Did you Domino's. order a pizza? I ate a bunch of pizza while I was there, and it was yeah, better hey, than hey, Domino's. But then don't know. Nope. But nope. in a pinch, ain't nothing wrong with Domino's. Oh, pain. In a pinch. It's if convenient. I was starving to death, I'd eat it. But I mean, otherwise, no. It's simply convenient. That's it, right. It's hey, good. Mars, right? It's all convenient. pizza is good. I, I don't disagree with that. As a man who loves pizza, <laughs> as a man who bought the Surfer Boy pizza from Walmart because of Stranger Things and ate one, is that I a, love all pizza. Yeah. Wait, is that a real thing? good? Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 uh, they made it from, you know, like old boy. What's his name from there? What? Oh, does he put Oh, brother Warth, though? They have that, but they have meat lovers. They have pepperoni. Okay. They uh -oh. have, but I want to show like you what song. I want to show you what comes on the back of the box. Send me the send me the photo. Oh. Um <laughs> I took this. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna, you're gonna get a giggle. I love pizza. This is the I sent you the actual picture of the pizza and what happened. This is, one chuckle, boys, what right, happened. is a chuckle. I could do a whole episode on pizza. Uh oh, oh wow, Martine. Yeah, look at me. What does it say? You gotta see it to believe it, my dudes. That, those little sunglass cutouts come on the back of the box. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> and then he, here's the, was there pineapple on this pizza? No, I just added a little cheddar cheese. Oh, there you go. That looks pretty good. This is Facebook time, boy. But I'm saying, like, you, Pete, I, I'm just proving to you, I love pizza as well. Uh, yeah. Domino's is not great. It's not. I never said it was great. You said it wasn't good. It's it's convenient. It's good. Good is a strong term. The best thing. The problem with Domino's is the best thing they have there isn't pizza. It's that stuffed cheesy bread with oh, bacon yeah, and jalapeno. No. Oh, no, that's fantastic. Uh -oh. That's the problem. Cheesy bread, boy. Like, that's the problem is the best thing on their menu is not pizza. If you're a pizza place, the best thing needs to be a pizza. But Domino's is better than Pizza Hut. Yeah. 100%. I've never, I never seen, argued that. I've never come across a pizza I turned down. Me neither. I mean, I, me and John David ate at the Pizza not, Hut buffet like once a been, week. Y'all haven't been looking at the pizza commercials. Do what? what? Nobody out pizzas the pizza. Pizza, pizza. <laughs> hey, it's nobody out pizzas the hut. And yes, well, hey, a lot well, of I'm just saying, hey. a lot of people. Yes, out the Stranger pizza. Things pizza out pizzas well, hey, the hut. Really? Like, like, yeah. A frozen yeah. pizza out pizza. pizza. Yeah, yeah. It's pizza, it's pizza, not. Pizza. I like that thin crust pizza though. That like. Yeah, because you don't feel bad after eating it. Eating like, the whole one. Yeah, you eat the whole thing, and you like you just had like three packs of crackers. Huh? They sweep. ain't gotta sweep the swamp. Now that is a local delicacy. It is, but they done got see they that thing's good, Martin. It is good, but Johnny's is just like they think they're serving ribeyes or or tomahawks. That place is expensive now. Uh oh, now now we got to meddling in local business affairs. Well, I can't eat economy, pizza, so. economy, boys. Let's just get off the oh. subject. <laughs> oh, sorry. I was about to do forty five minutes on pizza. Hey, Domino's has got a gluten free, like carb free crust. Johnny well, D ate them. Whenever, it's, whenever it's expensive too. Well, hey, whenever here's I a good one for you. The bed. best of pizza I ever ate well, was in Germany. German pizza. Interesting. No, no, I'm that serious. was because they I served went to a it restaurant with all that dark beer and know. ordered a fourteen inch round pizza, pepperoni. And then all you do when is they bring it, you roll it up just like a hot dog and eat it. And I'd eat four or five of them. Good gracious. Oh, no, no, no. I this believe was it. A, this four or five pizza? pizzas? Yeah, yeah. Uh, 14 inches, okay. Yeah, so this I was believe the it. best pizza I ever ate. Made. And it was thin. Oh. But it would melt literally just, you didn't even have to chew it. He said he'd roll it up I'm not, I'm like scared. a hot dog. And he rolled it up like a hey, hot dog. And I'd eat four or five about of them. a piece of sushi. Yeah. When I was in Italy, they'd put anything on a pizza. Oh, they put everything. French fries, hot dogs. Oh, no, no. They put it whatever we want to. That's oh, where course. Willie got inspired. Don't no, no. dare them to have a good what time. Was that? That's a Willie pizza. We went somewhere, Yeah. and you made your own. Oh, no. and it Willie's was, house? No, no. I know. It was, it was a restaurant. Really? No. Yeah, you go in and go there, and I mean, hey, 
they run out just like a tortilla to start with, and then, you know, you got all the ingredients in front of you. I mean, f everything you can. Is it like of. one of them yogurt places where they weigh it at the end and then charge you by the oh, pound? No, no, that would be no, amazing. No, it's like, yeah, it's like Subway that does that. That's where it was, I think. Was Subway. You had a Subway oh, pizza. Oh my yeah. word! No, no, I'm I thought I, this was about to be no, an no, incredible I'm revelation. I think, who, I think that's who they they done that. But hey, it was great because I'm telling you, it must have been forty things you could think just choose from. The problem is, together. it's like this isn't a new idea. You don't watch Seinfeld, but Kramer did like build your own pizza pie. That was his great invention. Yeah. Was like you go there and just pick whatever you put on it. Oh no, no, no! It's it's fun. Not only okay, not only can it really be good, but it's a lot of fun to do. It, are you talking about Subway? Every pizza. Well, place I'm you just get saying, pizza, whatever, on. wherever it was at, it was it was awesome. And can we talk about like the biggest misnomer in food marketing <laughs> when Subway says eat fresh? <laughs> That's a lie. Uh oh, that ain't oh. fresh. Okay, your boy ain't into Subway. I mean, hey, you don't like Subway, boy. There you go. Well, let's take a break. We'll be back right we'll after. We'll be right back, of Martin, you want to hear a fun email? What? Hig! My boy Hig! Yeah? South Carolina, you know what he said? Our ads are no lie. He wears Tommy John's to football practice every day, and he definitely recommends it. Oh, you know what'll melt your ice cubes during the summer? Football practice. Been yeah. there, done Two that. Two a day. That's right. My Been boy Higgs said, I got protection from Tommy and my other friend John. Hey, there you go. Look, I, I wish I'd have had him when I was playing football. There, there ain't no time. How Hey, Coach Shouse probably wouldn't ever yelled at me. No, I doubt that. I, I was pretty hard-headed. Yeah, I doubt that. But. When you wear Tommy John, you are that much cooler, so you can do everything better thanks to breathable, lightweight fabric with four times the stretch of competing <laughs> brands. With dozens of comfort innovations, Tommy John will keep you looking and feeling cool all season long, from lounging at home to summertime fun. In our man Higgs' case, football practice. In our case, fishing, working on the land, doing whatever you do. It doesn't matter. Dipping shiners. In you, size case, just owning a pair for every day of the month. And laying on the couch. I mean, They ain't got fans, Si. Hey, we got fanatics, buddy. That's exactly right. Fanatics that have sold over 17 million pairs of them. People love their Tommy John underwear and loungewear. And Tommy John doesn't just make you feel cooler. You actually are cooler. Stay up seven degrees cooler than cotton in Tommy John's Apollo underwear. Plus, there's no risk because you're covered with Tommy John's best pair you'll ever wear. Or it's free. Guaranteed. There you go. Cy loves them. We all love them. So will you. Go all you have to do is shop TommyJohn.com slash duck right now for 20% off your first order. Get 20% off right now at TommyJohn.com slash duck. And hey, become cool. <laughs> TommyJohn.com <laughs> slash go, duck. Welcome Seaside. to the club. The Seaside. cool ones do it. For details. Well, while we're on the subject of food. Well, keep going. We'll keep rolling with it. Goblin, how's your diet, friend? <sighs> Oh, all like, you got out of them was <gasps> kind of like lust. Look, I, I'm tired. Why are you tired, old buddy? I don't know. They, well, the doctor said my body's not not used to not having all that sugar. That's right. And I tell you, I could go to sleep, and y'all wake me up next year. I'd be fine. Your body is in rebellion right now. I guarantee you, Hold I'm up. in rebellion. Yeah. He said he's about had enough of it, folks. <clears throat> so what you're telling me is your body's getting used to like switching fuel. You're going from like gas to diesel or or, or something. You, you, ain't, got, you ain't got no fuel. It ain't got no umption in it. it ain't got no gas in it. Ain't no got on get up and go, boys. I ain't got no get up and go. Boy, I could, I'm telling you, I could go to sleep in a corner, standing up, <laughs> upside down. Oh, other than that, do you feel better? Do you no. think you feel better, no. or are you just like? I just no. feel the same. Okay. They just keep, tired. They it's keep tired. Tired. They keep saying, uh, well, do you get sweats? Do you do this? Do you do? No. I didn't even know I had this mess till I gave them some blood. That's it, boys. Okay. Huh. But everything. So if I hadn't have given no blood. You wouldn't even have this situation. I could eat what I want to. That's right. You wouldn't even, <laughs> wouldn't even have this situation. <laughs> But then you may not be with us as long, old buddy. We're trying to keep you here. Yeah. Well, good night. I'm 60 years old. I ain't going to be here much longer anyway. <laughs> you never know. Hey, your old man was here a while. He was. You goblins got them good longevity. Oh, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know? Yeah. 
So we're just trying to keep you here. We Look, me and you, we traveling tomorrow, so. I know. I'll probably sleep. I'll get to stay on you, though. <laughs> what we'll seat you? Look, we made it. We made it out of Bucky's unharmed. Well, we did. So. You just get beef jerky. No. No, you get the little keto breakfast bowls over keto, there. Keto, boys. Keto. That's the key. That was a good breakfast. That's the key, though. Good. Good. Right. The problem is, the Galvin's on that no sugar bag right now, and the people where we spoke at gave us a fruit, a bushel of fruit. Yeah. A bushel? A bushel. How yeah. much is a bushel? I don't, it was Bunch. heavy. <laughs> hey, I got a question for you. And look, they was a, they was a, a I don't know what you'd call it, a basket. It was like a, bigger than a five-gallon bucket full of honey buns. It had reg, Godwin's regulation honey buns. All I could do was look at it. Wait, they gave you? It, in the green room, oh, it said they, they, regulation oh. honey buns for John Goblin. They had no idea that Goblin had done, started his lifestyle change, and Goblin just walked in with. <laughs> oh, they had icing all over them, too. It was good thick ones. No, no, why, I got a question for you. Why is it that, you know, until somebody says you can't have it, that's all you think about when you they tell you you can't have it. That's like every time I go to the doctor. Take oh, an I thought about it when I could have it. Yeah, you know, <laughs> when I go I go and have an X ray and they always say don't move. Well, the only thing I think about is I want God to move. It's killing me. Get it. yeah, you get an itch or something. No, no. An X ray you don't have to move for like literally five seconds. I know, but every time they say it, all I want to do is like he's talking about. I got it's a itch I can't scratch, and I'm talking, God, will you hurry up? Oh, it's torture. Oh, water zoo over here. <laughs> Sai, what would you do if they told you don't nap? Oh no, hey, no, I'd die. <laughs> <laughs> to die is gain, baby. Hey, I'd just go ahead and go out. There you go. Change of address, boy. I, uh, I just say, I ain't putting up with this. We've had enough. Boy. I've had enough. Conk, he's gone. <laughs> well, you uh, wouldn't move anyway. Well, hey, then I wouldn't have to worry about it. I wouldn't have any itches. They could x-ray you all they want. That's right. They could yeah, x-ray me and run through again, guys. He's dead. They probably will mm. study you for science. They need to study for his science kids, for sure. <laughs> i give him that. His, fil his filtration system is not of this world. Uh -uh. So... It's powered by lemons. I, oh, I mean, it's vinegar. unbelievable. <laughs> lemons, vinegar, and and spicy hot stuff. So, right. Galvin, tell the folks what what have you been eating, Galvin? Me? Yeah, fish. I ate some redfish the other night. I went and spoke at uh, Natchitoches in Natchitoches at Westside Baptist. The old boy caught him a bunch of redfish on the half shell. So I brought them home and stuck them on the grill. Mm. They, they were pretty good. Oh. oh yeah. Been eating a lot of grilled stuff. Been eating a lot of stuff. Now I can have them sandwiches. You get that Sir Lee bread that's uh it's got forty five on it, that's all I know. It ain't got much sugar. There you but, go. But you can't have but one. It ain't but thirty three ain't no thirty three, it's just forty five, right? It's forty five, yeah. Okay, forty forty five something. I know it's got a No album, boy. Yeah. What? No albums. Yeah. The big record. That was before. Ah, big record. <laughs> the big record, 33s. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 33s, 45. Out of your time frame. Uh, that hey. went way vinyl, over my Vinyl, head. vinyl, Yeah. So you, got him. <laughs> so you still are getting I'm to eat not, you a ham sandwich every I once in a while. I get to eat me a ham all right, sandwich. That's all right. But no, I, I never was a soft drink drinker. Yeah. That's I, good. I drank coffee. I would get me a Mellow Yellow every once in a while. Well, the, it don't mess with coffee, don't mess Mellie with you, yellow? right? I mean, not Mellie Yellow, Mountain Dew. Oh. A Mountain Dew, I'd get it when I was traveling somewhere. You know, I'd drink milk, Mountain Dew. Well, you can drink all the coffee you want, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. You just got to watch it. Yeah, it's black coffee. No taters. Oh, taters <laughs> out. Johanna made some meatballs the other day with rice and gravy. So you meatball. just got all you could have was a meatball, yeah. no rice, no what gravy. What kind of crap is that? <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with rice? rice? You can't eat rice. I can't eat rice. Oh, starches, sugars. Oh, anything that's good, you're out. Yeah, <laughs> anything. I that's mean, this good. is torture. That's not I, torture. Well, I mean, it is. But yeah, I. Once you start, your, your out. days of convenient eating are out. Like yeah. you have to plan. 
your meals have to be thoughtfully planned. Oh, that's a bummer. I did, though, with just two weeks of uh, eating right. I was taking a pill in the morning and a pill in the evening for, you know, after supper. Mm-hmm. And that, my alarms was going off all night. I was dropping out, which I had to eat something. <laughs> but <laughs> uh, so now I'm butter. only taking, yeah, that's what yeah. I do. And um, so now I'm decreasing my medicine. See, that quick. That, that quick. quick. Look at there. That's good. Yeah. That's a good thing. Because your alarm was going off yeah. the other night while we were speaking. At, at first, cause I know. It's, it's high pitch. The guy was couldn't hear I it at first. And I'm like, I'm just looking over there at him. And finally, that tone got to oh, yeah. his ear. And he was like, high frequency. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, that's you, man. <laughs> yeah, high frequency. Yeah. yeah. And uh, so I told my doctor, I said, this thing, an alarm gets going off. What do you think about a, a Reese cup? Got peanut butter, you know. But I was wanting some of that chocolate wrapped around it. <laughs> <laughs> did he? Did and he she okay said you? no. She said maybe a mini. I said, "Oh, mini's good. I like mini." That's right. Hey, mini's all right. I get me many of them and yeah. uh, <laughs> many yeah. of them. Yeah, yeah. Godwin went with M A N Y, not M I N I. Yeah, that's the way he pronounces words. And a Mountain Dew. She said, "No, no." Oh, that's. But funny. anyway, yeah, it's, it's a different. It's different. It's it's a aggravating. Well. <sighs> We get to travel together again. Hard. I'll be glad when I'm, my body catches up. It catch up. It catch up soon. Yeah, you'll be there, no problem. Yeah, catch ups out too. I can't have that. <laughs> <sighs> you never think about this stuff. No, I I'm love serious. ketchup. Yeah. <laughs> no fried crappie. No, that's out. Uh oh. What well, if you just do it in cornmeal? Well, I do it's it in flour. Earl. It's that Earl. That, uh, it's the Earl. Cornmeal. Why would you want to do that? That's right. Why would you want to run good? fish with cornmeal? No. That's, oh, here we go. The classic that, debate. That's that. That's, that's right. false. First of all, fish and cornmeal is fantastic. It's but uh, you know what else is? Design. You know what else is good? Fish and flour. So I mean, I'm not. I'm. I'm not a stickler on either one of those. They're both good. Yes. But cornmeal's mighty fine. Yeah. Hmm. Because it's ground that way. Yeah, you gotta you gotta eat a little different. Well, hey, you doing gotta good? Go, gotta go buy me some more pellets. We do. You doing good? You down? I'm doing you, good. You've decreased your medicine, so that's good. Yep. We on the right track. I lost yep. about eight pounds. Really? All right, there you go. I need to eat something. I'm about my britches keep falling off. <laughs> about Perfect. starved to death. <laughs> I'd starve to death. Yeah. Uh, that's why you're so tired. Oh well, let's yeah. take another break. We'll be back right oh, after well. this. Look, Galvin. Yes, sir. There ever been a time in your life you was a little strapped for cash, needed needed a little pick me up? Heck yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, we've all been in that situation at some point or another. Look, and if you if you're in that situation now or think you may be, if you're living paycheck to paycheck or struggling to make ends meet, it can be really stressful when unexpected expenses come up. Now, our friends over at Dave can help get you out of a pinch when you really need it. Hindsight is twenty twenty, and you can't change the past. But what if you could get a little help from your future self? Maybe you'd ask to borrow a little cash. Now you can with Dave. Dave is the banking app that can help you get up to $500 instantly with extra cash. That's more money to fill your tank, buy a wedding gift, catch up on bills, buy groceries. That's a bunch of manners. You not, or manners if you just itching to go fishing. You can finally tackle... <laughs> Tackle fishing, there you go. Those expenses that have been stressing you out without any hangups. There's no interest and no credit check needed. Millions of people have already downloaded the Dave app to get the financial relief they need with extra cash. So if you're in a pinch and need some help, download Dave and think of it as helping hand from your future you. All you have to do is download the Dave app now from the App Store. That's D-A-V-E. Sign up for an extra cash account and get up to $500 instantly for terms and conditions. Go to dave.com slash legal. Instant transfer fees apply. Banking provided by Evolve. Member FDIC. Your future you will thank you. You just drinking straight lemon juice? Bailey. <laughs> A lot. Well, what's got you on the lemon? Oh, uh, The fans. He'd been on lemons before. Before that, he had he walked that's, around that's with a why, bottle that, of it. That's why it's cold in football stadiums. 
Maybe lots of fans. <laughs> oh, lots of fans. Okay. I was going to say, we were talking about lemons. I was still on the limit. Hey, that, that went on my head, boys. Yeah, I was. Yeah. We were talking about lemons, and he said, Wait. okay. Hey, you know the best part is, Galvin, as a man who likes condiments, that stuff. Is one good. gram of sugar. One what gram of sugar. That? It's the old W sauce. That it's the best down. sauce w in the world. Sauce. Baron Burton's. I just happened to look at it because I had it sitting in front of me. I was like, how much sugar has that got in it? America, One gram. One America's gram. Worcestershire. How'd you say America. It? I said it right. <laughs> you got to have Worcestershire. Worcestershire. Well, there how you go. You say, hold on. How do you say Worcestershire? Worcestershire. Because <laughs> we had a guy that worked here. And he said, oh, yeah, I got some Worcestershire sauce. And I said, say that again. He goes, I said it right. Yeah. No, you can't. I thought it was Worcestershire. Thing. This is one gram of sugar. How do you say it? That's what I told you. Uh, how, how do I, I say it? I'm to say it wrong. I, don't, I think you said it right. Worcester. Yeah. Worcester. <laughs> oh, he gets Wooster rid of sauce. the shire. He out on that. Yeah, Worcester that boy, sauce. Worcester sauce. Yeah. Worcestershire sauce. Got a bite to it. How do you say it? The things you wonder about. And why did they know. name it that? Why does your feet. Oh, actually, Why does your feet. Actually, I think this is I huh? think we might be going down a rabbit hole that we went down on like episode. Why does your feet said one? smell and your nose run? Because it's from England. Your feet smell. And your we're nose not sure runs. which country, but one of them. He don't even. He can't even hear me. Yeah, he yeah. missed. He's not concerned with why your feet nah. smell and that's your right. nose runs. That's right. I don't know. Just, is that just, just a deep pondering? Deep thoughts by God. Yeah. What did you ask me the other day? You said you had another one. When we were headed to Pensacola. Oh, well, I figured it out. Did you? Yeah, the 18 wheelers. Oh, yeah. They ain't got but one spire. But then I got to thinking about it. They got nine spires. They're just using eight of them. <laughs> there it is. We passed one. I said, God, it's how a... much sense does that make? This whole thing got 18 wheels on it, and they got one spare tire. And I thought about it. I said, that don't make sense. But then I got to thinking about it. They got eight. They got nine spare. Yeah, they don't need all them as long as they the don't. One get behind it. the cab is the spare for the spare. Huh? Well, the front two only got two, only a one. I know. One, two. There's sixteen on the back, and there's eight spares. That's rolling. <laughs> hey. No, yeah, they're keeping them in shape. Yeah, okay. If you ever hey. need to just ponder some things, hey. go on about a five and a half hour ride with Mr. Goblin. See, that's you can really get to pondering yeah. some things. Yeah. Deep thoughts. So. They ain't well, rolling that's why, they, that's why they shape. only have one spare. Yeah. Because they got eight more. They got right. nine. Yeah. They got plenty. Yeah. What else you need? Nothing. Not a thing. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> Any more brain busters? Mm. I don't know. Si, you want to talk about something. weird stuff. Well, well hey, what, what are some of the weirdest things going on? <laughs> huh? <laughs> weirdest <laughs> things. Weird things weird. going on. Weird? Just in this world. This podcast, for one. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, hey. I mean. <laughs> no, no. You got to. Uh, what made me think about this? People here. listening to I us. just went to Cersei, Arkansas on Little Red River. Correct. Yeah. Now, you got to think about that. It's Greer's Lake, okay? Mm -hmm. Yep, Greer's Ferry. Yeah, it's very deep, mm -hmm. okay? And when they run the uh, uh, turbines to generate electricity, mm -hmm. okay, that water coming under the dam is a cool 48 degrees all year long. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when you get on Little Red River, it can be 110, you know, when you're not on the river. You go down there, you know, I'm sitting there fishing in a, Something my the you know, face is to something I've done like that. Well, my beard is soaking wet, and I'm saying, "Wait a minute, what is going on here? Why is my beard wet?" Condensation. Yeah. Hot man, cold it's, air. It's literally no, no. It's literally no, no. It's literally I'm sitting on a a, a running river. Okay, that's about oh anywhere between fifty and sixty degrees, but and it's. Like a hundred. Mm -hmm. It's nice. Yeah. And I'm saying, I've actually, I'm fishing on a river and I, and it's air conditioned. Yep. An air conditioned river. Yeah. And it's, and they got the air conditioner set on low. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. 
Uh, and it hit me off that how unique is this stupid place right here? Unique. Kind of like in Badlands up there in South Dakota. No, no, yeah. yeah. What happened there? Yeah. yeah. Why is that like that? Well, all the rocks. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's what got me when I was in uh, Alabama on the Tennessee line. My property was actually, part of it was right there in Tennessee. Yeah. Giant rocks, you know. Big old rocks. How'd they just, get there? Yeah, just then they pushed up through the dirt. <laughs> yeah. No, it's just the wildest, just weird stuff. There you go. And then like the desert I was talking about, you know, on the green planet. <laughs> that's, that's wild because everything will bite you in the desert. Oh, yeah. Or you sticky. Live, everything's got, yeah, so everything's got, you know. There's something sharp. Something sharp. You live out there, you're tough. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't live out there. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, okay, you got yeah, to be tough. That's like when you live up way, way up north in Alaska. I'm not. I yeah, don't you live got, up there. You, yeah. like, you got to like cold weather. Yeah. Up there. And you got them, them people up there, they take it slow and easy. Oh, yeah, they don't get in no big rush. It's because it's cold. Don't nothing bother yeah. them. Yeah. No, sir. I love trail cameras. Uh oh, you are you up? getting trousers on? Yeah. Or something's happening over by okay. Mark. Little old buck yeah. deer standing out there, middle of the morning, scratching his ear. You got one of them fancy trail cameras. No, I got a bunch of them. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. I got. About, I, we I got do about it. twenty of them. It yeah. is. It is good though. You know, bus, and then you just look and say, "Oh, oh, it's a bear today." Check in on your critters. Yeah, it's a bear. Today. You know what I've never seen on it? What's that? A black cat. That's not true. You know why? Because they they're slick. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they too slick. They slick. Oh, yeah. no, no, because they, they I, can I, sense the vibrations well, no, of no. the camera. Well, you got to understand, because I, I watched a show one day on PBS, of course. Okay. And a doctor. <laughs> that's all this guy did. He studied like 10, 14 years, okay, to become a doctor. And what does he study? Cats. Wow. Okay. Wow. Look, this was like in the 1800s. They had one picture of this type of cat. They had pictures? Yeah, one. One picture. Be still. Okay, no, no, look. Okay, like on so, them westerns. So he made it his life's ambition. Okay, I've got to find and photograph another one of these cats. Now, this was in the Amazon jungle. So he goes and puts out. It's easier for him. They're cutting that sucker down. Oh, no, no. So, hey, yeah. So he goes and puts 1,000 trail cameras out. Wow. 1,000? Okay. And over a 12 year period, okay, he finally accomplished his goal. There is one of them cats left because he got another photograph of it. Thank you. Okay. And you know what? So it took him 12 up. years with a thousand trail cameras going. That's a thousand of them. Imagine how many are in the U.S. of A. Well, no, no, no. And just there say. still ain't a big black cat on none. Oh, no, but just uh, you got to think about that. Hey, are they slicker than what? They've been photographed twice, boys. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. But before They've, they've <laughs> evaded being shot and photographed. Yeah. Before we take a break, though. Uh-oh. Right. Uh-oh. Here we go. We have a very impressive trail cam diary entry uh oh oh let's do right. it when we get In, back do it when right. we get back yeah, there's just right. one i got one that's super right. impressive right. Right. now y'all right. can't leave you let's take stay. a break we'll be back let's I'm do just trail cam on edge right now having kids make you want to pull your hair out oh buddy man remodeling a house make Large you want to pull your hair game out. on that oh not getting to go fishing make you want to pull your hair out Ooh, martin you're gonna need more hair bite your tongue look <laughs> You no longer have to choose between hair growth and your health. There's a holistic solution for men that promotes both healthier hair and whole body wellness. It helps you get ahead of thinning hair with Nutrafol's whole body approach to hair growth. No drugs, no compromises. Nutrafol is the number one dermatologist recommended hair growth supplement clinically shown to improve your hair growth, thickness, and visible scalp coverage. So, you know, something me and God will show benefit from. Y'all out. <laughs> 
We <laughs> should have done this years yeah. ago. Y'all yeah. are out, boys. Where were you in 92? That's right. Yeah. Like, right. Nutrafol's hair growth nutraceuticals go beyond genetics to multi-target the root causes of thinning hair, including stress, hormones, nutrition, metabolism, aging, and lifestyle through whole body health. Physician formulated using natural medical grade ingredients, Nutrafol's drug-free patented technology provides consistent, reliable results. Hey. And it doesn't compromise your sexual health. So, I mean, you know, plus. that's always a plus. In a clinical study, men show progressive improvement in hair growth and thickness after three and six months. Nutrafol is also trusted and recommended by more than 3,000 top doctors. You can grow thicker, healthier hair and support our show by going to Nutrafol.com and entering their promo code DUCK to save $15 off your first month subscription. This is their best offer anywhere, and it's only available to U.S. customers for a limited time. Plus, free shipping on every order. Get $15 off at Nutrafol.com, spelled N-U-T-R-A-F-O-L.com, promo code DUCK. Duck. Leo from Minnesota. That's where we're going. Uh Oh, Oh. Minnesota. All right. Well, if you see this thing when you're there, it was Wisconsin. Um, we're going to Minnesota. Minnesota. God, do you not know where you're going? Unless they move Minneapolis. Going north. All right. Well, he says some very rude things about the Vikings and the Saints. Um, so Leo, I thought about not showing this, but I will. Um, this he he has this on camera. It's on camera, boy. I'm pulling it up. I'm waiting. Uh oh. That's a white. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That is it. An albino doe. That's cool. Mm-hmm. That's the craziest thing I've ever seen. You know, Love most it. of them you see is up north. Why is that? Because of the snow. Yeah, they're trying to blend in. Here are my question. Wait, is that true? I was making is a it, total No, is I that, had no is idea. That a, <laughs> since I couldn't see them, is that a true albino with pink eyes? Looks like she got pink eyes. Yeah. Okay. Because that's, th- that's the only thing about it. Tr- yep, it is. That's a true one. That other one is the one that the other yeah. one had a little bit better picture yeah. of her eyes. But Did I it? I don't know. It's He's got to say. two pictures of an albino, yeah. snow white Minnesota. I, that's the first time I've ever seen one solid white. I can tell you why they, there's more of them up there, Gavin. Why? Because these boys in the South, if they see that, they go and whack them. Oh, yeah. Oh, that yeah. Me, great. I'm like, you they know fix- what? They fixed the ground, check it. You know, me, oh, yeah. I'm, I'm more along the speed of she just survived in nature being snow white. I'm going to let her roll. Yeah. Well, I'm Leo, let her bump. Because just, as a baby, she was snow white. Oh, no. And she and made it. I actually, That's incredible. I actually was bow hunting, slipping through the woods. Of course was, you were. It was small, uh, a newly, you know, cut over mm-hmm. with oak trees. And they was about head high. I was slipping through there with a bow and deer stepped out. I've already drawn back and for going to stick her when she comes out from behind this tree. But she's, she's white spotted. So I, I thought it was a, just a yearling, you know. A fall. That hadn't, that hadn't, yeah, that hadn't changed spots. So I let my arrow back down, you know. And then stepped out and it was a doe. I could have shot her. But she was pretty. She looked like a fawn, you know, when they got the white spots. Oh. And she just pollinate. never did grow out of it. Piebald. Pieball. Yeah. What pollinated? That's pretty. Pretty thing. Pieball. Pieball. That's a P word. Or it could have been Axis deer that got loose. No, it wasn't an Axis. Oh. But that's what, it re- that's what it reminded me of. It's high fences so everywhere now. Yeah, that's what it reminded me of. So she had freckles. I yeah. like them. Not a bunch of them. Them 3D tournaments because you just pick a spot. <laughs> that's right. Pick a spot, boys. Hey, there you go. <laughs> got him. Well, Leo's going to kill this thing, Martin. No, Leo, let it bump. Leo's on a mission, man. Oh, I um, would shoot it. That sounds like a Vikings fan. That's it. Oh! Yeah. Like, I care about the NFL. <laughs> I don't. I Look, you can't <laughs> win at all, so you might as well shoot a deer. Uh, it's white. Yeah. No, don't shoot that white deer. Well, that's the only one I got. We had but one on, I, I thought that was worth it. No, that's cool. At. We had one on Fort Bragg. I love cool colored oh. deer. A Viking or a? No, no, a white deer. Yeah, we had one on, on Fort Bragg. Really? And I was surprised nobody shot it. Time out. I got a story. Oh, right. no. Here we oh. go. Speaking of albinos, uh, these kids came in the store the, yesterday, and they keep buying goldfish because oh. they're running <laughs> trout, trout lines. Uh-oh. I know where they, we were going with like, it. Yep. I, I think I'm a redneck, and then every once in a while I meet a few children that tell me no. Not well, even You're not there. And these kids start telling me they tra- they trapped a buzzard in a foot trap, which is the most impressive thing I've ever heard of in my life. 
Then they they had a picture of an albino possum that they captured, and these kids make me laugh really hard. But they were going gar fishing. <laughs> gar. Yeah, they want they want to try gar balls. Ooh. <laughs> I can tell them I hey, forget that. I tried to tell them that they're like, yeah, no, nah, forget that. They, not, not with our gar. Hey. These gar unless, up here is rough now. I think mm-hmm. so, unless you really like a strong, strong. Now you get strong, down there in South Louisiana. Strong fish taste. You get down there in South Louisiana where they know what they're doing, and they catch them alligator gar and skin them out and and all that, and they make that gravy. But Ooh. they surround it with so many distractions. It ain't about the gar. Yeah. It's like, yeah, I mean, it's a it's a hush puppy with fish in it <laughs> that's covered in gravy and served over rice. Yeah. Yes. Everybody likes that. Yeah, I mean, like, uh huh. Yeah, but just, like, you ain't ever seen nobody doing, really just. I just keep doing. Take it. a fillet of gar and just. Mm. No. no, they're not planning on doing that. No. But they no. they they walk to the store from the river, which is a pretty good <laughs> haul. Yeah, pretty good. And they walk. buy goldfish and anything they can find, basically to tear something up. Yeah. And now one of them's grounded because he skipped the movies. His mom told him to Uh-oh. be at. <laughs> I pulled that trick before. Yeah, he was in the woods. Yeah. So yeah, I hadn't yeah. seen him in a few days. I'll probably see him again today. <laughs> but they out there in the woods. I'm like, I'm like, I didn't do that as a kid. Like, The sad oh. thing is I'd have been that kid if there was a tackle store I could oh, walk no. to. Oh, <laughs> no. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm like Martin. Okay. Oh, no. But they, they came and bought a trot line and all that. And I'm like, they're like, how long do you think this is? I showed them. And they're like, oh, we ain't got a boat. They come back about two hours later, just soaking wet. They done went swimming. They're right? swimming, hooking up, and I'm like, God, I want to leave work and go hang out with these kids. Oh no, 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 no! The look, time you know, of their life. Hey, yeah. that's why my childhood, you know, because I remember, you know, we used to Red River. Okay, we'd walk to it. Okay, carrying a number three wash tub full of water and live perch in it to bait the trout line with. Mm-hmm. Okay, and like you're talking about, hey, we want to fish out in the different spots of the river, so hey, we'd wade out there chest deep. Have a have a woola, stick it down, tie the shot line, you know, bait it up. Yeah. We'd have to wade out there and take them off. Problem with a Washtaw River, chest deep's about four feet. Yeah. Yeah. Off the bank. Yeah. Well they're all, they're really a little, they're in Tupac they're, Bayou, I think, is what they're doing. Oh, they are oh, okay. It's what I'm gathering. They're out there I'm with not, them alligators. Uh, yeah. Well, they got them a snagging hook yesterday, and they're, they're, they're they got them on them three tail shrimp. <laughs> they won't take them long. That thing will be on the bottom of the river. Oh, yeah, no. they, they bought two. Yeah, yeah. Uh oh, that Yep, I've uh, been there too. No, one of the biggest catfish. Okay, we we got throw lines out. Mississippi set a record yesterday. Yeah. Oh no, hey, look, we got throw lines out, so it's hung up. So Phil goes out there and he said, "Hey, I'm probably going to break the brick off. So go go find me a rock that we've tied back on, set it out." So I figured he had fell in the river because I hear a big splash. Well, I come back, he's standing on the bank, and he's white as a sheet. He said, you're not going to believe just what swam up behind me while I'm getting this stupid trying to get this thing unhung because it was in a brush top. Big hop. He said, hey, Phil said his head was that wide. Just he's, he's pulling on the brush top. And hey, that giant op come up behind him. Yeah. And mm-hmm. when Phil turned, he popped his tail and went on the water. You know, and he said, Hey, his head was two foot long, you know, two foot wide. That's not an albino. No, I just got that picture. Martin's literally <laughs> we're live looking in on Martin's yeah, property. Right. Yeah. You need to get rid of them. <laughs> Those are right. pigs. There I you love are. It. I love it. Trail cams are awesome now. Yeah. They really are. They really are. But before we go to a break. Did you know Whoa. Mississippi Good grief. state record was caught yesterday? Where at? Mississippi River. He's from Brookhaven. Christopher caught a 104-pound blue catfish. On rod and reel? 104. No, not on rod and reel. Oh, on oh, 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 line. line. That's a bull. Three pounds heavier than the previous record yeah. set in 1997. That's cool. Yeah. Huh. Well, how big do you think they get? What? 
Apparently, yeah, apparently about 104 pounds. Well, no, no, because they had one in the Amazon River they caught. A record. Well, yeah. Uh, it looked, that it was, ain't here. It was three people holding him. I agree. One no. had his head, one was in the middle of him, one of them was the tail. And, and just like yeah. them whales catfish over yeah. in the U.K. get ginormous. Them things can live but, 60 yeah. years, I'm reading right now. Yeah. But Six, but there's this really cool show. It, it ain't on PBS. Oh. But it's called what? River Monsters. Have you ever watched or, River Monsters? Yeah, yeah, I have. Yeah. I was about to say, we're about to change yeah. size life yeah. right no. now. No, and that, that guy finds the big stuff. Yeah. And and it's a really cool show. That's why I don't oh. swim in rivers. Well, it's there's one monsters. It's one well, of hey, you're part of the, the, the food chain if you fall in, you know, some places. I went to the Amazon one time and people were jumping in. Your boy was not. No, no I I'm ain't jumping. Uh, they, the, they got them little fish with them teeth they call piranha. Uh-huh. Oh, they don't They're meat eat. eaters. They don't eat you. Uh, oh, yeah, they will. You ever seen the movie? They Pilates? eat anything. I forget that. The worst one in that Amazon River is the one that'll swim up you while you're taking a leap. Oh, boy. Oh, that's it, boys. <laughs> you can have, I'll take on something with teeth before I take on something I can't see. <laughs> that's yeah, all I'm going to tell you. That's, that's a good point. point. But let's take our last break. We'll be back right we'll after. We'll be back with more of the water. Don't pee in the river. All right, we're back. All right. Hello at duckcallroom.com. That's the email address. Johnny D, what is in right. our mailbag? I got a couple heavy ones, a couple light ones. We're going to start light. Hey, God, when Aaron sent you something, do you know why in Ath- Athens no one wakes up before noon in Athens? In Athens? Uh-huh. I do not. Because uh, Don is tough on Greece. Oh, <laughs> that one's like halfway educated there. <laughs> yeah. A little more. A little more. <laughs> a little more. Sophisticated than our normal humor. You got to be geographically sound. And then Dan, whose last name starts with an O and then continues on because he's from Ireland, uh, he wants to know who the best dancer out of the duck call room is. And I'm not making this up. He put his money on me. Thank you, no. Dan. Dancer? No. I don't dance. I don't really dance no. either. I just kind of. I don't real. dance now, but in the day. Oh, I he had that a, I dragon a, jacket. I could, I could cut a rug, son. Could you? Yeah. If he's got a swagger. Yeah. He's got oh, yeah. a dance oh, yeah. move. <laughs> si, some tell me side dance like them boys on our brother where art thou. Oh no! Yeah. Uh, hey, in my uh, in my day, I could get down. In constant sorrow. Yeah, the best one I remember. I went to bar in Boston. Okay, and this fine thing was shutting everybody down, Miss Christine, until she got up with me, and then hey, we put on a show. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm serious. The crowd, the crowd got off of the dance floor and watched me and this chick. We, oh, we was getting down now. I'm telling you. I know they're making man, a movie. Man, why? About, why oh, they made a movie? Why weren't oh, no, cell no, 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 video? No, no, no. Hey, man. John Travolta couldn't touch me. I'm just saying. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they're making a movie about Phil's life. <laughs> <laughs> Way more interesting. Right, your boy. I mean, hey, it might be rated PG thirteen uh, or hey, something. I'm telling you, hey. And be a little weird. But Depends man, on who tells the story? It would be him? hey, not weird, unique. <laughs> yeah. Now, if I get a hold of Christine, <laughs> you know, I'll love it. Oh, hey, she'll tell you now. She, but, you, y'all. Uh, next time she she's on, did. y'all need to answer. She we did went, tell us. We went to the club quite a few times. Okay. Ooh. Do you ever go to the water zoo? Uh, no. So, Sal, you're really? the best dancer. Yeah. So I'm going to give it to Out of this bunch, okay? I'm not, I'm not fighting. I yeah. only dance at weddings. No. Well, okay. It's my own, that's the that, only place I'm dancing. But I'm oh, just saying, yeah. that was back in the day. I'm going to leave okay. that. Go ahead, Martin. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not really dancing. It's more just jumping. Yeah. 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 Hands in the air, up by the stage. Yeah. Sweating yeah. like I got a video. Da, 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 the one you need to ask. I got a video of you at a wedding. I'm a good time, da, 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 but I'm not like there you go. I ain't seeking out a dance party. Yeah. But if you invite yeah. me to your wedding, yeah, he's gonna have fun. I'm gonna have people on their feet. Hold that. Have fun, boy. No, we're not doing that because I'm in charge. Oh yeah, we're gonna show you, JD. All right. Anyway, let's get serious. Hold that. Oh, you right, keep that. going. Let me scroll through no, the video section of my phone. No, the next one's it. serious, so like oh, we can't we oh, can't jump. Well, around. but we may end on a high note. You never know. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll do one that. I'm not sure if this is serious or not, but Billy from Ohio, remember when we asked people to send in the longest they've ever slept? Mm-hmm. How long did Sai say you I slept? I slept 24 hours. This guy said the longest he ever slept was for six months. Mm. Wait, what? They called it a coma, but it felt like a good night's yeah, okay. sleep. Until uh, he found out night. how long it was. Hey. Cheater. 
So I appreciate the good attitude about it, but that's right. terrifying. Tommy Topper, boys. He's taught me. <laughs> <laughs> Six months. I ain't got, I ain't got that. He and, said it felt like a yeah. good night's sleep. <laughs> I don't know how long I'll ever sleep. Hey, that makes me think of resurrection. Hmm? Yeah. Hey, you don't realize you're about the resurrection. When you die, you just went to sleep. Yeah, you just go to sleep. And then and boom. You, you don't know how long you slept. Okay, it's like whenever you go into surgery, they put you to sleep. You wake up four hours later, maybe, maybe even longer than that. You're lucky I've had to clear my phone. Thank out. goodness! Oh, oh all right. right, he ain't got it. Look, I got a video of you at Bella's wedding. <laughs> if you're having a wedding, <laughs> invite me. That's right. It's, fun it's time. a good time. Yeah. So invite Sal. All right. My anyway, favorite song is "Shout." Now my favorite song is the Mamba. Oh, the Come Mamba. Come on, and do that Mamba. That's only because it's my right. wife's favorite song. Right, we get to go. go we get to dancing, son. That's right. Who can't get down to I the Mamba? I thought it was the chicken dance. I don't like that one. I don't like. Hey, uh, uh, Al's got the Monster Mash down perfect. I don't like dances with uh, with <laughs> instructions. With routines. Was no, more I just, of a freestyle. Kind I, of guy. I just need to be able to go <laughs> freestyle. <laughs> no instructions. I can't do instructions. I right. reads instructions anyway. So. We've gotten a lot of emails about baptism lately. Just a bunch of them. Okay. Do it. I think we're all behind Martin on this. <laughs> Martin, don't jump the gun on the answer. Do it. Um, And I'm just going to burn through a couple. Well, we haven't got a lot of time. But. I ain't no reason to burn through them. It's got water. So, <laughs> That's right, boys. So Kylan emails in about being baptized. But the church he goes to isn't baptizing people for like a few months. So he's like, uh, what do I do? Go find a creek. I, get in a pond. Get a swimming pool. Somewhere you can get under the water. I, and he's like, hey, can I come up there? If you find one hey. of us, I'll do it. I mean, come on. Oh, we'll find somebody to baptize you up here. Yeah. Um, yeah, if you want it. Yeah. So so I guess the where I wanted to go with that is, and there's a lot of people asking questions. Because I think Phil and Cy and Willie, like, we, we put a heavy emphasis on baptism down here in our circle. And I've noticed a lot of churches don't do that. So the, what I would say to people wondering, like, why do we do that? Um, it's because that's what they did in the Bible. There was never like a, hey, I believe, okay, well, sign up, and in six months, invite your family. We'll do. It was always like, there's some water. Yeah, but this goes further than, than that. I, I've always said, why would anybody choose baptism to balk and talk about no it's not if this or that i don't have to there's too much importance of what's going down in baptism number one you're reenacting jesus's death burial and resurrection okay and the main thing is okay <clears throat> baptism seals the deal God made with you. He allows you to reenact Jesus' real death, burial, and resurrection. Okay? And then the, the key to it is, you read it, when you go to Acts and all that, okay, and read, what happens once you are e immersed in the water when you come out? The gift you're given, the gift of the Holy Spirit. That means, hey, God giving you a part of Him to dwell in you. You don't want to mess with that. Yeah. Okay? Because that's what marks you, okay, and sets you aside when the resurrection happens. Yeah. Okay? That's why, I, that's why we don't mess with it. And that's why, hey, it's crucial... You know, if you've heard the message and you want to obey it by being buried, you know, in water, you, you bury the old sinful man and you, you come out of the water, a new creation is what God says. And then he gives you part of himself. That's the importance is why you don't mess with baptism. There's too much going down when it happens. You've become, you've been cleansed by the blood of Jesus, number one, okay? You're, you're as white as snow. You were stained with sin. All of us are. Once you are baptized, you are washed white as snow by Jesus' blood, okay? And then you receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. 
to dwell in you and to help you on your journey on this sinful earth to walk the way Jesus wants us to walk. That's the importance of it, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's important. Nailed it. Yeah. I, 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 the thing everybody, when they ask me, I always say, hey, if it's good enough for Jesus, son, it's good enough for me. Yeah. That's right. So, you know. Because he set the example and he had no sin. Yeah. yeah. Now, am I one to limit the power of the Savior of the world by saying, if you don't get baptized, you're not going to heaven? No. Nope. No. Nope. No. I'm not one to limit Ain't qualified. That. Ain't qualified. But I'm thinking if you're willing and able, why wouldn't you? Like everything you know. I've ever read, and that's going to be our verse today. It was, I believe. All right, here's here's your first step. Yeah, go dunk yourself in water, and, and because, and let me just clarify this: people are going to look at that like it's weird mm -hmm. if they don't understand what you're reading and what you're believing in. They're going to like, why would you have another person dunk you in water to signify something? And that's kind of what it's about. It's saying, here I am. Look at what I'm doing. I surrender. This Here, is yeah. me. You switched my verse of the are day. You, are Ugh. you reading Peter? First Peter. I I had Acts eight <laughs> with <laughs> Ethiopian eunuch. Hey, look, so I'm yeah. gonna do both of them. Or Acts two thirty eight. Yep. I mean, it's, so oh, yeah. whenever yeah. Philip preaches the Ethiopian eunuch, Acts eight thirty six, he said, "Well, there's water right there. What prevents me from being baptized?" And he commanded the chariots to stop. Both went down to the water and they got baptized. And I'm gonna read what size just talked about because. It kind of gave me chills. Oh, no. Matthew 3, 13. Then Jesus came from Galilee to the Jordan to be baptized by John, but John tried to deter him, saying, mm, whoa, yeah, I need to be baptized by you. And you come to me? Yeah, and you come to me. Jesus replied, let it be so now. It is proper for us to do this to fulfill all righteousness. And when, you know, Jesus says that to you, John the Baptist says, okay. John 3, 33. John the Baptist says, hold your nose. <laughs> as, we going, son. As soon as <laughs> Jesus water. was baptized, he went up out of the water. At that moment, heaven was open and saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and alighting on him. And a voice from heaven said, this is my son whom I love. With him I am well pleased. We had a lot of other emails, too, about ages and all that. I'm just going to say it's a good, good thing. Yeah, yeah. Whatever yeah. your thoughts are on it, right. it's a good thing. Yeah. I'm I for agree. it. Size 100%. for it. All right. What do you want to do next time? I don't know, but we'll find out. We'll see y'all next time right here. We're out. We're out of here.